Hello guys and welcome to another tutorial. In today's video, I'll teach you how to make this presentation using PowerPoint. So we'll start by inserting our background, which is just an image of an universe. And I'm just gonna stretch it so it takes the whole space of the slide. And then I'm just gonna duplicate it with Ctrl D and put it in the exact same position. Now I'm gonna right click on it and then go to Format Picture. And here we're going to change a few things. From the Artistic Effects panel, I'm going to select the Blur effect, which is this one right here. I'll just increase the radius so the effect shows up more. Then I'm going to click on this image icon right here and let's increase the brightness slightly and also decrease the contrast a little bit. Let's scroll down to Picture Color and here let's just decrease the saturation slightly. This will all make sense in a minute, so just stay with me. We're gonna go to picture format, then click on crop, which is this button right here, and let's select crop to shape. And here, let's pick this one right here. Let's click on crop again, and holding Ctrl and Alt on your keyboard, you're gonna make the crop frame smaller. So this will be essentially the background for the text that we're gonna add to this slide. So now it kind of looks like a frosted glass rectangle that looks very cool. Now, I'll add an image of a horizontal glow that I made in Photoshop. I'll leave it in the description box of this video so you can use it for your projects. And just holding Ctrl on your keyboard and dragging it down, you can duplicate it to the opposite side. All right, let's go to Insert and select a text box. And here we're gonna add our first text, which will be the title of our first planet. The font that I'm using is called Andale Mono. So I'll just continue adding my text and you can add some description or maybe you can add the size of the planet or pretty much whatever you want. Let's pick a line from the shapes panel and just add it here in the middle. Now I'm just gonna change the shape outline to white and now we pretty much have the background for all of our slides. I'll just select everything and move it up a little bit to make some space for the planet images. So now let's pick a circle from the shapes panel and holding shift on your keyboard, you're gonna insert it to the middle of the slide. Let's go to shape outline and select no outline. Now let's find a picture of our first planet, which in this case is Mercury. And I'll just right click and copy it and then right click on the shape and click on format shape. In the field panel, we'll select picture or texture field from clipboard. And now just go to picture format here at the top and then on the drop down from crop and select fill. Holding Ctrl and shift on your keyboard, you can make the image larger so it takes a whole crop frame. Then simply click on crop again and you're pretty much done. I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller and I'm gonna put it right here at the bottom. Also, I want to remind you that you can get this presentation from my website. I'll leave the link in the description box of this video. Now let's insert a rectangle and put it right here at the bottom. And now we're gonna right click on it and go to format shape. Here we're gonna select a gradient fill and let's make sure we only have two stops by dragging the ones that we don't want down. Let's select the bottom gradient and I'll just move them closer to each other. Now let's change both of them to black and for the one on the left, we're gonna increase the transparency to 100%. So now we have this kind of fading to black effect at the bottom that looks very, very cool. We'll use the same design for all of the slides. So just click on it and duplicate it with Ctrl D and we'll just make some changes to this slide. Obviously we'll replace the whole text of this slide because this one will be about Venus. And let's go back to Google and find our image for Venus. Let's copy it and we'll select the planet right here at the bottom. And very important, go to shape format, click on rotate, and let's click rotate right 90 degrees. That will give us a very cool transition effect. So then right click format picture, let's go to the field panel and select clipboard. Let's go to picture format, select the drop down from crop and select fill. Again, let's make sure that the planet fits in the crop frame that we have. So now if you go to transitions and click on morph, you'll have this very cool effect. I think we can make it even cooler if we select the top glow and move it to the right like this. And then let's go to the second glow and move it to the left like this. Let's also select the background and we'll go to picture format, click on crop 
and we're going to make it slightly larger. Amazing. That will give us a very cinematic effect. However, if you click on transitions and then on morph, you realize that the glows are kind of shifting. So to fix that, we have to go back to the first slide, select the glow, then go to search, click on display the selection pane. And here we'll need to edit the names of these images. So make sure that the image is selected, then double click on that element right there. Let's add two exclamation points at the beginning and now we can change the name to something like Top Glow, for example. Let's copy this name and then let's go back to the second slide. Again, select the Top Glow and we're just going to paste the name that we have on our previous slide right here. Let's do the same for the second glow, select it and then we're going to change the name to exclamation marks and we'll call this one Bottom Glow. Again, copy the name. Let's go to the second slide, click on the second glow and let's replace the name right here for the one that we have on the previous slide. So now if we have a look at the transition, you'll see that the effect is fixed. And that's pretty much it guys, you can just continue with all of the planets. And remember that you can get this file from my website, the link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.